Hey everybody. So today I'm going to do a uh, sort of an unboxing and review of the Discovery Underwater Volcano Kit. And it's basically, you know, you get, you open the package and inside of it is this little tank that's going to be your ocean. I filled it with water already. I cheated. Then this, which is your volcano. It comes with these little sticky feet. These little sticky like Velcro tabs that you put two of them on the bottom of the volcano. And then you put, you shove it down into the tank. And it leaves two in the tank. So that when you put this volcano in there, it holds it to the bottom while the effect is going on. So it also comes with a, like this giant fizzy tab, which is going to be which is what is going to give you the effect when you put the volcano, put it inside the volcano, you put the volcano in here, and it's what's going to give the effect of an eruption. Then it also comes with this poster, which is like a fun fact poster about underwater volcanoes and the Mariana Trench, which I believe this is supposed to be a replica or at least a representation of a volcano that is in that trench. So it comes with this cool poster, and this kit I think was 20 bucks, but you know, it's pretty cool, kids are going to love it I guess. Uh, it's cool just for science buffs as well, and it also comes with a, like a background scene for the back of your tank, which I'm not going to put on it right now because I don't want it to mess up the effect um, on camera. Maybe I'll stick it, maybe I'll just hold it up to the back like this and I put the volcano in there and then I'll just take it off but you're supposed to tape this um, to the tank when you put the volcano in it so what you do is you take the volcano out you put these two sticky tabs on the bottom of the volcano it's like two little glue dot tabs that have velcro on one side of them and like the other side of the velcro you take it you shove it into the tank and then you pull it out and I didn't think that the tabs were gonna stick to the bottom of the tank that's what those two black dots are in there I didn't think that it was gonna stick I thought that it was going to keep ripping right out but the tabs actually they did a good job with that because it was really strong and this tank is so narrow um, it was super hard for me to get my hand in there to even get the volcano out so I guess we're gonna see how that goes it might be a little bit of a uh, blooper video but let's see what happens so basically what you're going to do is you're going to take that fizzy tab that came with the kit and you're going to take that fizzy tab and it comes in a little package and then it's shrink wrapped so I opened it ahead of time because I couldn't get into it so you're going to take that and you're going to put it inside of your volcano and the volcano just has a back that comes off of it, little plastic volcano. You take the back off and then you open it and you just stick the fizzy tab inside of it. And then you take the backing here and there are lines where you line it up and you just snap the backing back on. Then, um, according to the directions, you're going to fill your tank with room temperature water, which I already did. <clears throat> and yeah, so that's it. It also comes with extra of these latch tabs. I don't know why. Um, maybe over time they fall off so I guess if you want to use it again you can just stick these little sticky tabs on the bottom of it and you'll see they are it's a little velcro dot so part of it goes under the volcano part of it goes on the floor and then it holds the volcano in place so they give you a couple extra of those I'm assuming that these wear out over time and if you use it over and over if your kids use it um, it will wear out so you have those as backup it also says that for this little fizzy tab that's in there, that if you want to do it again or in the future and the fizzy tab runs out, which obviously it will after you use it the first time, you can use um, epivescent tablets like denture cleaner, things like that, things that fizzle when you throw them in the water. Um, you could also use a tiny, I just made a video on how you can make a bath bomb. You could also make um, a tiny one, tiny little balls and fill it with this <laughs> if you want to do that, which would also be super simple because I actually made bath bombs the other day. I'm just going to show you one because I have it over here. But um, I just formed these with my hand for anybody who doesn't have a mold and I put chia seeds in it. So that might give it a cool effect too. 
But if you're interested in that video, just go to my page uh, where you found this video and or click on my username below and you'll find the step-by-step -step instructions on how to make those bath bombs. Because you could make a bath bomb and throw it in here um, for the same effect or buy a bath bomb if you're not, don't want to make them. All right, so now this is the moment of truth. So, oh, and like I said, I, I don't know if I said this already or not, but I got this at some craft store, Michael's or whatever, and it was like 20 bucks, but they were having a sale for buy one of these discovery kits and get a second discovery kit half off. So this one is just a bunch of different science experiments, chemistry sets, which I will probably be making a video for sometime soon. So if you're interested in this one, you could do like crystal formations and then they have sodium alginate and stuff like that so i'm assuming that they also you can make um little pearlized balls that they use for cake decorating and the edible water bottle which i also have a video of me making because those are the ingredients that i use to make the edible water bottle so this one might be cool as well so like i said they will buy one get 150 off so i just picked up two so i can make a video and do a little review of it um, okay, so now the moment of truth. Now my problem is I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this exactly in there because my hands are so big I can't get them into this tiny water bucket. But let's see. Well, I'm going to do what I can. I'm going to do my best, okay? That's all you can ask for. So here we go. I should move this back a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better. There's so many reflective things in here. Okay. So let me, I'm going to run over here real quick and turn this other light off. <clears throat> so it's not so reflecty. And away we go. Okay, so I am now commencing volcano. Oops, I almost dropped it. Oh, now my finger is stuck in it. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, that's pretty cool. And then this is what it looks like with the background on it. Just in case you wanted to see. I might have the background upside down. But oh, this is actually pretty awesome. And they said that this effervescent tablet that you put in there can actually last for a few minutes. Um, I think they said up to 10 minutes or something like that. But, I mean, for a kid, this would probably blow their mind. I'm a science nerd, but obviously I'm not that young anymore. But... I still think that this is actually a pretty cool effect. I'm going to take this down just so you can see. Show it to you from the side. I don't know why I did that. You can't really see anything. But i show it to you this way. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Put the instructions over there. <clears throat> yeah, look at it go. Underwater volcano. <laughs> <laughs> this actually does look pretty cool. I thought it was going to be like a crappy, stupid little thing, but you can actually hear the um, effervescent tablet like almost exploding. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Can you hear that? So, yeah, but I think that's pretty cool. All right, it seems to be winding down a little bit, but you get the idea of it. And now the water is like a different color. It says that you can take this water and just dump it into your sink. So I'm guessing that it's not, you know, dangerous. It's basically just a fizzy tab in there. Oh, look, the whole ball came out. It's floating around up on the top. You see it? So the whole ball fall, fell out of the volcano, I guess, because it's so tiny now. But um, I think that's pretty cool. So if you like this video, please click the thumbs up. That actually means a lot now on YouTube since they changed the rules. And if you want more videos like this, review videos and maybe some singing videos and all kinds of different videos, just a smorgasbord of stuff and things. So if you like it, please subscribe to my channel. And you can also get these, I know they have these online. You can get them on Amazon. Just search Discovery Underwater Volcano if you're interested, if you think your kids would like it, or if you just want to try it out and you think it's cool. 
All right, thanks so much for watching, and till next time, bye gals and guys. <laughs>